some uh, some pretty big swings in the, late in that game between them and going in there. It's a 24 to 7 run to take out seven point lead. And you guys responded with your 14 now, I want to say, late in that quarter. What was going on in that fourth? And, and how did you guys kind of come out of time? Um, well, when it was up 10, just a couple of bad shots. You know, shot selection was bad, you know, messing around with the game. Um, had three chances to go up 12. I think Zoo missed two free throws, turned the ball over, and they was able to get back in the game. And so, you know, just got to be professional, just playing through the game and um, <clears throat> can't, you know, take bad shots. Can't mess around with the game when you get up. And so we did that. Like I said, Cliff's teams are going to play hard. They're always prepared and organized, know exactly how they want to play. And they came back and took an eight-point lead, you know. So um, it was a good win for us. I thought it was going to be a tough game coming into it, which it was. Um, but, you know, Russell was really good off the bench for us. You know, saved the game for us. I thought James was really good. You know, Zoo was good, you know, better in that second half. But um, I knew it was going to be a tough game, but it was a good bounce-back win for us. Um, defensively, we were, we were pretty good. Um, outside of those last, like, six or eight points because we didn't want to give up three, so we just kind of stayed at home on penetration. But I thought defensively we were pretty good. And um, that's about it. Coach, uh, you know, you talked about Russ. You know, he had the big sequence uh, in the fourth quarter. Three-point shot, block shot, and the assist to Zubac. Just what does he mean to just not only the team, but just like the, the crowd, the energy that he brings when he makes the, the big plays? Yeah, I mean, the crowd loves him. As soon as he checks in the game, and he plays with that same intensity every night. And so you got to love a guy like that. Um, that brings it every single night. Like I said, made a big three, passed the zoo, made a big block, and then he had a, a big layup, you know, down the middle of the floor uh, where Zoo kind of sealed his man. And so um, the way he played tonight with that effort, that pace, that speed, uh, we needed every bit of it tonight. <coughs> so uh, that first half, they had, the Hornets had 42 points in the paint. That's the most y'all gave up in any half this season. What did y'all do to address that at halftime, and how do you feel like the team? defended better at a higher level in the second. Yeah, I mean, we, we talked about it. They were 1 for 12 at halftime with 42 points in the paint. And so um, we want to protect the paint coming into the game. We want to be a shrink first team. And we didn't do that. And so um, in the second half, you know, we talked about it at halftime. Like, we want to protect the paint at all costs and then build back out to the shooters. And I thought our guys did a better job of doing that in the second half. But the first half was just you know, a little too easy for those guys in the paint. How, what's, the, what's the key to, to the building that kind of defense? Like, when, when you say that you want to make sure you protect the paint, like who is kind of, because everyone's going to think about Zoo, and Zoo's not the guy guarding those drivers, you yeah. know, most often than not. Like who, who do you kind of rely on as you know, it's, key it's, a turnaround in that? Yeah, area? it's our team defense, just shrinking the floor. You know, when a um, guy has the ball at the top of the key, you want boxes and elbows. When a guy has a, the ball on the wing, you know, you want to be elbow and box, it's the same thing, you know, so you just can't show any seams and, and, and any gaps, and uh, the players are too good in this league now to show them any kind of gaps or seams because they can still, you know, get through there, so I thought the second half did a better job of shrinking the floor, I thought we did a better job. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? I thought we did a better job. The emergency has been reported in the building. Please proceed to the station immediately. Thank you. 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 Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.